And the first case of Fluorona has been documented. A woman in Israel diagnosed with this double infection, according to the country's Ministry of Health. Here to explain what Fluorona is, is our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandi. Dr. Nandi, as always, thank you for joining us. What can you tell us about the patient and how serious is this infection? So by this, this new term, Fluorona, right? It's a term that describes a person who is infected with the two respiratory infections at the same time, and that's the flu and the coronavirus. Now, both we know cause similar symptoms like a sore throat, fever, headache, fatigue, coughing, and runny nose. So we know about these things. But here's what I can tell you about the patient diagnosed with Florona. She's an unvaccinated Israeli pregnant mom in her 30s. She was treated with a drug combination and was released in good condition, thank, thank goodness. Officials say, however, that her illness was generally mild, but precautions were taken. Why? Because pregnant women can get quite sick or even die from either influenza or the coronavirus. So doctors, myself included, are concerned that having both of these respiratory illnesses, Brian, you know, simultaneously could possibly lead to even more severe illness. And not just for pregnant women, while we don't have a lot of data, right, on this particular co-infection, it could be quite hard on a person's immune system, especially those who are elderly or their immune systems are compromised. So this case in Israel, but can we expect to see more cases, especially here? I'll tell you, Brian, I would not be surprised if we see more cases of this co-infection. Remember last year, and we reported on this, that influenza cases were very, very low. But this year, it's come back significantly. Case numbers are rising, and we know about the Omicron, right? It's spreading like wildfire. Already, I'm hearing reports of newly diagnosed cases of fluorona right here in the U.S., not many details so far have been confirmed, but a child in Texas and a child in Los Angeles have been reported to have this combination, this co-infection. I can't predict right, how common Florida will be and if we'll see a lot of cases, but listen, it's winter time. So more folks are what? Hanging out inside because it's so cold. And both the flu and the coronavirus can easily spread when folks gather together, especially when they're indoors, right? So in my opinion, what people need to focus on is what? To get vaccinated for both the COVID and for the flu. I've, I've gotten both. I've gotten the COVID booster as well as the, the flu vaccine. And these vaccines, they may not stop a person from getting infected. But here's what we will do. They, they will help you protect against severe illness that leads to hospitalization. I just left the hospital and, and there are many, many sick people there. Uh, generally speaking, if you're someone who's overall healthy with no underlying health issues, and if you're vaccinated for these illnesses, including being boosted for COVID, you're less likely to end up being really sick. Having said that, I still recommend, I still recommend masking when outside your home, washing and disinfecting your hands and physically distancing, right? Remember, it's not just about protecting yourself, right? It's also about your loved ones in the community. If we look at it that way, we can really, really uh, beat these diseases. So I, we'll keep an eye on this, Florona, Brian, but I think it's common sense and get vaccinated and, and make 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 good of all the precautions we've been talking about. Important information. It's about more than just yourself. Dr. Nandi, as always, thank you for lending your expertise to us. And if you have a coronavirus question for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandi at askdrnandi.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.